Wow, that was loud. It's it's in, there's something about the way it's it's processing files, audio files. Holy cow, Steve! That was uh, hang on. Let me see what that'll give on. me tinnitus. The tini- <laughs> hey guys, you can put your headsets back, and we're back. Hang so on. We got, Is that gonna, turned down again? It turned down. Yeah, we're right, turned down right, again. Now, turn it back up. Let's see what happens. Now, can you hear that? I am gonna. Find can you hear it? Volume I can. control. Can you hear this, Derek? Oh yeah. Okay. All hold right, on. Hold now, on. Hold on. That's very loud. Turn that back down. What are you doing? I'm adjusting my output. <laughs> Right now, uh, take your headphones off for a second, because I have to find out what the problem is with this. Derek, hold on, hold on. Uh, he's holding water. I don't want to drop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Folks, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. All right, all right. We have it figured out. There's the, uh, There's the sting. The I can't do the stinger. Okay, so that's good volume. This is good volume. We're good. We're going to okay. try this. All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's looking better. Okay. It's only running on one track, though, for some reason. It's weird. Oh, well. We'll do better next time. It works. Yeah, yeah it okay, works. So a little, little background. In 1923, the pistol license was, or uh, statute was enacted. You can turn up this, though, because I don't hear her at all. I can hear her talking. Primarily, and I can give you all the, the citations for that, um, by the New Hampshire okay, Senate. Okay, that's better. And the intention was to... Um, make sure that only suitable people had licenses. Now, I don't know what sort of history... Uh, 1920s? That would mean racism. <laughs> that <laughs> would mean suitable people are not black people, right? Well, these were not... It wasn't even black people so much. If you think about Sacco and Benzetti, um, these were in New Hampshire primarily, we believe, um, Irish and Italian immigrants. Oh, okay. Na- they Anyone were un- different. <laughs> unnaturalized, but legal immigrants. Okay. okay? So the, the, the suitability um, was, was a, a pejorative term, but <clears throat> the discretion was a, to the local law enforcement. Now, over time, the actual pistol revolver license application was issued by the New Hampshire Department of Safety. There's a residence license application and a non-residence application. The residence license application never went through what's called rulemaking authority. So it's just sort of a, and whatever suits them at the time. For many, 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 many years, as far back as I can find it, on the back of the license application, the reference definition of suitable, if you will, was not prohibited by state or federal law. Okay. Now, the federal prohibitors are under uh, USC 18, 923, paragraph G, I believe, or is it 922 G? 922 or 923 G. Convicted felons, you've given up your citizenship, you're dishonorably discharged veteran. Um, a number of different things it says. If you are one of these people, you are not legally, by federal law, allowed to possess, um, fire, purchase, or own a firearm. So, on the back of the license application, the default definition, if you will, was not prohibited by state and federal law. The gentleman, Mr. Doyen in Hooksit, um, was not prohibited by state or federal law as it was laid out. Well, the chief went, oh my goodness, this gentleman sued him, took him to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, well, there is no definition of suitable and you can't rely on this license application, and so without any public notice whatsoever, the Department of Public Safety uh, changed the pistol and license application. Because it didn't have to go through rulemaking authority, they just kind of went, oh, well, we're going to change, we're going to add a bunch of questions, we're going to remove that. Because if there was this definition of suitable, the chief might have found himself in trouble. Now, there is no framework definition for who is and is not suitable, it's whatever discretion the local law enforcement chooses. Now, in your case, you did apparently screw up, and you have I didn't screw up. I never hurt anybody. I never (laughs) did anything wrong. No, you you were convicted of a misdemeanor possession of marijuana. Great. And good for me. uh, (laughs) Perhaps. 
perhaps, but we are either a nation of laws, whether we like them or not, or we are not. Now, I'm not excusing what the chief or whoever that is that denied that did, but in the absence of a clear definition of suitable, Which and the clearest one with. we had was that um, the back of that application, you are at the hands of the local law enforcement. We've been fighting it. We've said the definition of suitable, as it was applied in 1923, was not only racist, but sexist. Yeah, but that's wrong. My rights shouldn't be um, given to me by government. Um, you know, my rights are inherent, and they don't come from a police chief. And I think this might have something to do, you know, I think uh, his retirement this year, he just announced this week that he's retiring. I think that might have something to do with the fact that I'm taking him to the Supreme Court. <laughs> that, has, <laughs> that has been known to happen well, around you, here. <laughs> you may want to look at that ruling, young man. I will make sure that you get it. it. It's not even a ruling. Is it an opinion? It's a ruling. It's not even an opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, and there are mm -hmm. degrees of things, but I will send mm -hmm. it to you, and you will see what they said. Mm -hmm. and, you, and this happened, um, this mm -hmm. was issued, in fact, in August of last year, maybe? I don't remember. Um, I don't oh, know who okay. your attorney is, but there are a number of really extraordinary firearms attorneys in the state of New Hampshire. Evan Knappen is my attorney. Okay, excellent. All right. So, um, Evan will know of this ruling without question. And he will. We, we, are, we are compiling the names and contact information on people who have had licenses denied on the grounds that they're unsuitable or whatever else. And our hope is that there's enough people out there that we can make the case that, you know what, it just needs to go away. Now, Senate Bill 116, uh, which passed the Senate, would have made and will make licenses optional. Right, but the governor's going to veto that. And it's not veto-proof. It That's true. That's anymore. very true. But given that she wants to step up, and she she has probably watched what happened to Scott Brown when he I, got the ire of the gun groups, she may just let it slip into law without doing anything to it. That would be signing. interesting. That would be very interesting. And it's a, it will be a clear indication to a lot of us that she is indeed going to try to take out Kelly A. Well, the real question is whether or not she can just let it become law and not piss off enough people on the left. I don't think the Democrats would abandon her because of that. I no. mean, they would still want her to beat Ayotte. So uh, there is a possibility. But I think what we'll have to do is to continue to get these names of people who've been denied for... No good reason, really. I mean, it just it's crazy. And then the change to the back of the form, we you were all over that last year. Oh, boy. Uh, it was a huge subject. And they were like, oh, no, no, we didn't do anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> the surprise. It's a constant, constant freaking battle every day. Well, part of it is for, for a long time, New Hampshire has been a closed shop in many, many ways. And it's been run by very few people. And when you live in a small state and things are pretty good, you don't question a lot of stuff. But there's a number of people in New Hampshire who've either moved here recently like you or who come from other places like, like, like I did. And all of a sudden you look around and you go, huh, how does that, how, what? And you start looking and you start questioning and, and you don't get really good answers. So shining that light on, on things um, makes people uncomfortable. It makes them nervous. And when your best answer is, oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really not adequate. So we have to stay on them. And, yeah. and I'm not sure um, uh, the, the, the status or progress of your case, but we will watch it very closely, believe yes. me. And we would love to have you back on. When we normally do this out of the offices of CNHT in, in Concord. In Concord. And this is where we get to come in because they they all hate us. Pretty much. <laughs> they really Who's do. Who's they? Um, the establishment, uh, good the old establishment boys. Establishment Republicans hate us. The Democrats hate us. Um, the status hate the us. Status. It, it, yeah. um, the the progressives what? hate. Uh, yeah. Progressives on both parties really really hate us. Absolutely. And they hate us because we're upset. Let's upsetting. take back that term. I like progressive. Well, progressive is nothing more than incremental socialist. Yeah, but it could mean something really positive. It sounds nice. 
No, let them own it. Okay. <laughs> Let's just wrap let them it. Let sink in that ship. Yes. You know, they, wrap they, that they around stole the term. Necks. They stole the term liberal, and liberal is far more derogatory than progressive to them. Yeah. So well, they started off as being progressive. They so trashed the yeah. the uh, the perception of that. Then they, they switched to, to liberal. liberal. Yeah. Then they went to progressive, went back to liberal, and now they're back to progressives again. I just call them socialists. I think I'm progressive. I think freedom is progressive. I think you're it's right. radical. <laughs> if you go back to the original founding fathers, and I'm watching the time real quick here. The, the notion that we were sovereign citizens reportable to God and responsible and accountable by God and not to a king was a, the, one of the most radical ideas since the Greeks. Absolutely. And it changed the world. Unfortunately, progressives are those kinds of people who say, we should be in government because we know better than you. And as uh, Lee Webb uh, New Hampshire State Representative, Democrat, said the purpose of the legislator is to legislate behavior. Yeah. Right. So they tried to legislate away. They want to legislate away your given from birth right to defend yourself. And you have to go to the freaking Supreme Court to try to get yeah. it back. Well, it's just the way I defend myself. They admit I'm allowed to open carry. I just yeah. can't wear a jacket. Yeah. Which You're right. <laughs> stupid. It's so stupid. Yeah. Do that at zero degrees at my house this morning. Oh, yeah. Or my house. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're we're... We've been in the trenches for a while on this, and um, stay in touch with us because yeah, we, we definitely want to have you back when the court we, comes we back with the case. We know you're We know you're attorney. And um, in fact, let me. Give well, thank you. you. Give my you website this. is thederekj.com. So if people want to read about my case, uh, they can read about it at thederekj.com. Cool. Very nice. Well, with that, I think we have to bring this to a close. Steve, you may play the music. Folks, we're going to be back because we've got, oh, we've got almost all day. I can't really fade the music in, though. Well, I can. Start okay. in. Okay, yeah, great. Awesome. It's not it's, playing. It's, it's playing. No, there's nothing there. It's playing. I don't hear it. It's coming. It's different when I don't have a slider to manipulate it. See? Okay. Remember, this That's is going to sound mind. really quiet because we're on the field and it's uh, it's different. All right, it's folks. Different. Well, we're going to be back in a few minutes. I am Skip. She's Susan. He's Steve. And we want to say thank you. S's. Yeah. And we want to say thank you to Derek Freeman for stopping by. A free man living in New Hampshire. Yes. <laughs> we're trying to be free. insurance provider radically reduced the number of hospitals in their network, forcing some people to drive over an hour for lab work, even when there's a hospital within a few miles of their home. When pressed about lack of access, Shaheen said, There are some hospitals that are not covered, unfortunately, and um, I, I certainly hope that's going to change. Jean Shaheen promised us we could keep our doctors and our health care coverage. Now she hopes we can get to a local hospital? Call Senator Shaheen at 603-647-7500. Tell her we need more than hope. We need leadership. Paid for by Citizens for a Strong New Hampshire. Hi, this is Rich Gerard, host of Gerard at Large in the Morning. The Manchester area's only locally owned, locally operated, focused and interested, riveting radio show heard live every Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 on 90.7 FM WLMW, New Hampshire Family Radio, and available 24-7 live or archived at GerardAtLarge.com. Be sure to tune in. This is the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. We're located at 8 North Main in Concord, New Hampshire. This is a repository for all things conservative and municipal. So if you have a problem in your town, your school, your budget committee, the right to know law, and now at the top of our list is voter fraud. you have a tip for us, some information for us, you want to join or help us out, cnht.org. Hi, this is Rich Gerard, host of Gerard at Large in the Morning. You're listening to Grok Talk. Grok TV.